Um, so hi everyone, um, I'm in Phoenix um, at Admiral at the moment with um, Mark, Matt and Stephen and I just want to do a quick um, introduction to the um, Squidstat um, product line that they have here. It's a very unique um, little system but first of all let me just describe what we're doing. So we have a four channel, let, dare I say it, potential stat but it's got some features that are much much nicer than just a standard potential stat. We have a beautifully constructed um, ferry ferrocyanide um, cell here with our working counter and reference electrode in it. And first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to do a quick start with this um, with the system. What's really nice about the um, Admiral software is it's so intuitive. I mean, I have to say I'm an electrochemist, so you know it's a little advantage, but actually come in and have a quick look. What I mean by the intuitiveness of it. First of all, it's a four, the, the one that we have here is a four channel instrument. So I could run channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. They're all completely independent. So look, you know, you're, you're basically dealing with four potential stats, but I'm only dealing with channel one at the moment. I've got my live window going on here. I see what my working electrode's doing. I see what my counter electrode's doing. I see the difference. You know, so I can see what's going on in this cell. Um, I say that it's very intuitive. Literally, I'm gonna just hit start. It's gonna ask me a few questions. I go, yeah, sure, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. I'll save the data. And then it just tells me that that channel's on, which is all very great. And it's gathering the, um, the data now at this point. What I really like about this, and, and I just feel like we need to embrace this because there's a new way of doing almost like electrochemistry. Because if I start increasing the voltage, then look, you know, it's, it's changing in real time. So this is, you know, unlike an, a, a, you know, a traditional experiment where you can, you know, you have to know everything ahead of time. You can change things in real time on this instrument. And the, there we go. Now we're going into a... Re and then you can see again that the data you know, is, is responding to this. So the guys have um, designed the system initially. Originally, it designed to actually run quite long experiments. Something like you know, uh, battery cycling for several weeks or microbial fuel cells for several weeks. So it's really designed to actually run for a, quite a long time and they make a lot of effort. I don't know if you know something about Windows machines, but they crash. And um, this system actually is one of the, if the only system on the, on the market where you've got some guarantee that that data is not lost when that computer crashes. The experiment will carry on running, you plug the computer back in and you get your data back again. So that's a great feature. I actually really love this live changing of parameters and seeing the experiment change. You know, when you're trying to fish around to find out what the right parameters are, this is a, a nice little feature. So now we have talked about the quick start. I want to talk about actually almost like writing experiments. Now, um, I am an expert because I learned this about 10 minutes ago. Um, so what I want to do is go to what's called the um, technique builder. So I want to, I basically want to start off at minus 0.5 volts. I want to ramp up at 100 millivolts per second and I want to end at 0.5 volts. So I've almost described here one part of a, um, a voltan voltammogram, that's really a linear sweep voltammogram. And then I've, I've got a second interval where I'm going to start at 0.5 volts, I go down um, at a scan rate and I finish at, um, and I'm going to look at the waveform, so it is the waveform for a cyclovoltammogram. So that's a nice quality check. I'm going to do it two times, so I've done all that, and then I'm going to enable this here, and then I'll have a I'll have a save rate of something like 0.5, and I hit start, and I know where it's saving. I can see that. It tells me it's on, and it's off again. So I really, I'm I'm wondering, you know. How easy, how easy can it get? You know, how can it get any easier than this? So with very little training, you can walk up to a system like this. Um, you can write your cyclovoltammograms. You can do your amperometry. You can do your chronopotentiometry. It's got something like four channels. I'm just going to change the axis on this one to um, working electrode versus... And then I'm getting my, um, my CV at the moment. So I'm just going to do a quick summary and wrap up now then. So it can be up to a four channel instrument. Each channel is completely independent instrument. We were just doing a little quick look at a um, ferry ferrocyanide type solution. 
there was a quick start, just walk up, press go. You can actually change the parameters in real time. Don't forget, even if things, if you're doing a long experiment, even if um, the very reliable Windows machine crashes, the um, squid stat will continue running, you'll get your data back again. And then there's this feature, you know, you can build, do this, do this, do this, do this, build quite complexity. Save that folder and obviously that file rather and share it among your friends as well. So yeah, it's great to be here today. Really nice instrument. It's there's a new there's features in this software that allow you to do things that we couldn't have done before. So very exciting. If you have any questions, contact us at Admiral or contact us at Zimmer and Peacock. All right, thanks very much.